in our community, which is the mainstream community, if you don't know how to read Hebrew, or if you're from a Yiddish-speaking family or a neighborhood, if you don't know how to read or write Yiddish, you're going to be alienated, not just from your neighbors, but even in your own home. This is a real school. It's not a babysitting service. It's not, we're not trying to make them happy, like being, you know, giving them everything they want. We were here to fulfill potential because that's the real concept. When I feel that I've accomplished, when I've used my abilities to help other people, to contribute, that's what makes a person happy. Everybody, stand up. Stand up. What are you doing? Stand it up. Hands down. What are you doing? Stand it up. Good job. Everybody sit down. The reason why a lot of our children do not uh, fulfill their potential is because of low expectations. Very few people take the time to see our children as people. Who are they? It's, oh, they can't do this, they can't do that, that's hard for him, he can't talk right, he can't walk right, he can't see right. My son came to the school when he was six and a half, I guess, he came to the school, and we had a lot of behavior issues with him. If you would see him today, he is such a mensch. I mean, they knew how to build him up, how to build him up and take what he thought as a handicap and make it a plus. What I can say about this school, I, it's just, there's, there's no end to what I can say, of course, until I have for what they have done. They have changed three people's lives totally. They've given them a life, not that they've changed it, they've given them a life. I'm a supervisor over the boys as we set up for lunch at the uh, pub of Yeshiva, and the boys are responsible for setting the tables, uh, making sure that the place settings are correct, uh, putting down the benches in the morning, also cleaning up from the breakfast meals, and helping out in the kitchen however we can. This is a tremendous, tremendous learning experience for them. This is on hands, on the job, working, and this is a great experience, and they say experience is the best teacher. So this way they can really learn how to do it, become more independent, and get the confidence they need to work in, in, the, in the real world. <laughs> These are young men who are age 16 to 21 who have to prepare themselves for the real world and are learning a variety of skills such as packaging, weighing, measuring. Rosenthal. He doesn't have control over his hands, how he eats. Everything is difficult for him. Everything. I go in every morning and I say a big good morning. Hi Ellie, how you doing? It's so good to see you. I came in this morning and he pushed himself up. He was in a prone position with the help of his aide, but he initiated it. He pushed himself up. He stood up and I told him that we're getting a new chair for you and we're gonna get some new toys. And I told him about the Rosh Chodesh treat we're gonna have. And he picked up his hand and took my hand. You know, there are no words for that. Kids have never let me down. I've never been disappointed. If I raise the bar, they reach for it. When I feel that I've accomplished, when I've used my abilities to help other people, to contribute, that's what makes a person happy. And now we own the West. Yes, we tell you. We need to take that fantasy. Oh, baby. 
个粉粉，他那可以塞克啦。哎，你可以啊，没得，哎不干，哎不干，给木去啦。耶！ In Italy we say fuchai. In the Philippines, they say mezaya. In Russia they say shishlivi. We do say sumka. Lila. Happy, 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 happ